at the Commonwealth Games, the 22nd Commonwealth Games for 2022. And this year they had uh, 72 nations and territories participating. Roughly, they estimate almost a third of the world's population. Prince Charles opened it in lieu of the Queen. At that event, a giant Molech bull, 10 meters in height, was rolled out into the center of the stadium to be worshipped and to face a large, recreated, rebuilt, right there in front of everybody, mock Tower of Babel. And it begins with a star exploding in our solar system that explodes a bright star like Lucifer. That's what it is, exploding. And its shards fly through our solar system and they reach Earth. And they land in all the nations of the Commonwealth. And these 72 quote-unquote dreamers, New Agers, find these shards outside their homes. It's lit, it's brightly lit. It's like a large quartz crystal, bright white. She picks this thing up and she prays to it. Then she takes this back to her home. All these others, these 72 dreamers, there's 72 of them total, pick their shards up and they take them to their homes. As soon as they do, there are anti-gravity effects in their homes. Things start to float in the air. And then their homes are lifted up, off the ground with these people in them. And they float across the Commonwealth from other nations and across the UK. And then they land. And the dreamers exit them in front of the audience and they have the shards in hand. The bull then comes onto the stadium, pulled by slave women, slavish women on chains, and these female slaves who've been driven like by somebody who's kind of like a Roman. And the bull goes on to the center of the stadium, and these quote-unquote dreamers, these New Agers, encircle the thing. But initially, before they do that, Stella comes with her crystal, Stella wanting to appease this thing so that they're not killed by this Moloch idol goes with this New Age crystal, approaches it slowly with these five other dreamers. She's got the crystal in her left hand, and then she puts her hand up to the nose of the bowl, and it bows down so that she can touch its nose. And the bowl is, at least at that moment, appeased, and this bowl kind of calms down. It's facing the Tower of Babel this whole time. And at times there are flames like the towers, like the flames of hell all over this Tower of Babel, okay? You know, and it's facing this thing. And they literally worship it. They've all got their crystals in hand. They bow down to this thing. And then later, Stella gets atop it and rides it as the woman riding the beast. And there are then 71 dreamers encircling it. And they're bowing down to this thing, worshiping it, and literally doing a New Age worship ceremony with their crystals before this thing and inviting the whole Commonwealth to join them in this worship. And who's overseeing all of this? Prince Charles. And then the woman's riding the beast, right? And as we get toward the end of the ceremony, right there at the end, the bull is rearing back. So it's rising up on its front feet. Okay, and it's encircled by the flags of all these nations, the 72. They've literally placed their flags at the base of this thing. Now the tower is rising again before this beast. It's been built. They all come to the base of this tower with their shards in hand. And they stick them into the side of the tower. And they ascend visibly through the tower. And as they get toward the top of the tower, they form this ball, the original star that blew up, reconstituted, and then it rises above the tower, and you get this huge disco-like ball atop the tower that's lit up very brightly, and a beam of light goes between that ball and the chest of the ball. But they're portraying the rebuilding of the Tower of Babel in our day, with Lucifer being over it, being worshipped by all the nations of the world.